This is the Blood Red podcast from the Liverpool Echo. Another disappointing draw for Liverpool last night. They drew 1-1 at the London Stadium with West Ham. They're reducing their lead at the table, well actually increasing their lead at the, ta- at the top of the table, but it's now only three points and gives City the chance to overtake them on Wednesday night when they play out. Gorsi, um, difficult night wasn't it for Liverpool? It was. It was a game where you could tell West Ham were up for it quite early on. The fans were creating a bit of an atmosphere and uh, the players responded to it. Um, West Ham have been, been a bit hit and miss, haven't they? A bit hot and cold, but last night they really showed up and I thought one or two of their players were, were, were excellent and Liverpool weren't at the best at all, were they? Um, I've heard a few people say Liverpool were lucky to, to get away with the draw, but I, I don't think that was the case. Um, I just thought it was one of those games where Liverpool weren't at, weren't at their best. West Ham upped their game a little bit and it kind of evened out and, and that was how it finished. Um, but yeah, the, the spark was certainly missing last night. West Ham got a lot of players behind the ball, uh, defended in numbers, defended deep and Liverpool didn't really have an answer for it. We'll look at a positive and a negative. First of all, we'll start with negative. Um, a much changed side from Jürgen Klopp. Are you confident that Liverpool's squad, when injuries hit like they have done recently, is good enough to, to continue navigating this title challenge? In some areas, yes. And others, not so much. I mean, you've got James Milner, you know, veteran midfielder playing mm-hmm. right back. Um, and then you look at when Roberto Firmino has a, a rare off night, and it, it was a, yeah. an off night for him yeah. last night, wasn't it? The pull of Ryan on Diva Origi to come off the bench and, and try and salvage something. And it kind of brings it all into focus, doesn't it? That perhaps this squad isn't quite what we talked it up as yeah. or hoped that it might be. Yeah. Um, and there's certainly quite a bit of surgery to do for Jürgen Klopp in the summer but saying that um, the pool it, it's not the death knell for the title challenge by any stretch they're still in there they're still top three points clear they've got to hope for a big favour from Everton of all teams on Wednesday night but um, they're still in there and I think that I think that they might do it but as, you, as I say it's, um, it kind of brings it into focus that the squad perhaps isn't what we thought it was OK a positive if this is Liverpool's wobble uh, last couple of games against Leicester and now against West Ham, they've not lost. So, you know, if Liverpool can get through this period and um, remain having been beaten just once this season, it's a, it's pretty it's pretty good going, isn't it? It is, yeah. <clears throat> uh, as you say, they haven't lost. City had their wobble in in December and, and lost two on the bounce, didn't they? And and lost a third in December when when Chelsea beat them. So, yeah. if this is Liverpool's wobble, um, you know, early January straight through to early February, then it's not the worst in the world because. As you say, they've only lost one with City and, and they're still picking up the points. It's just frustrating, really, to think that Liverpool could, could have been sitting seven points clear less than a week ago or, or a week ago and now it's um, City are closing in and, and looking to go top if they beat Everton on Wednesday. But it's the, the small margins, still plenty of huge games to come for both teams and it's just a case of, um, of sticking in there and, and seeing what happens. OK, just finally, I'm sure you're very, very confident that Everton will do Liverpool a massive favour on Wednesday night. Well, it's, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Um, some fans might actually want Manchester City to win, would you believe? Some. Well, it, you know, <laughs> it, it, some I've spoke to, spoken to have said that. Some have said that, you know, what are you talking about? We're Everton and, and we want to win the game, which you, which is the attitude yeah. that you'd hope. Um, I don't quite think the atmosphere will be the benefit that it will be on March the 3rd when Liverpool go there for a Sunday afternoon kick-off. But Liverpool do need a massive favour from Everton. Will they get it? I'm not so sure. We'll have to wait and see. Right, nice one, Paul. Thanks for tuning in and get back to our live blog for the reactions to yesterday's game and all the build-up to um, Saturday's game against Bournemouth.